Welcome to my kitchen where these cabinets behind me are about to get painted a shade of white. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Personally, I absolutely do not want to do this project. I think it's gonna look like a dog's breakfast when it's done. Probably just gonna look like a cheap paint job, but I don't really have a say in the matter because somebody else who lives here wants the cabinets changed. So if you're watching this, you're probably in the exact same boat that I'm in. I just my cabinets are too new, I can't throw them out. It would be a travesty to get rid of them or change them. It just, it doesn't make sense. I will admit they're a little bit ugly, so I'll, I'll give it that. Now I did look into hiring a professional to come in and spray them, but it was gonna be like three to five grand, and it just doesn't seem like it's worth it at all. So here we are, I'm gonna DIY this old school with a brush and a roller. And I'm not gonna insult your intelligence with the removal of the cabinets or cleaning them or sanding them. That's all pretty straightforward stuff. But I will explain exactly what I use and what it cost and you know whether it was worth it in the end. So for paint, I did a Google search and that came up with a bunch of people who were using Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint to paint cabinets. So I decided to go with that paint. I went down to Home Depot to pick up the Benjamin Moore paint, which is an idiotic move because Home Depot doesn't sell Benjamin Moore. So I went to the Benjamin Moore store, told the lady, I said, I wanna paint my cabinets. She said, dude, you're gonna love it. She's like, you'll have no regrets. It's gonna look so good. You're gonna be so happy. That gave me a little bit of a boost of confidence, I guess, to go through with it in the first place. So I got the advanced paint. She did recommend, however, to not use the advanced primer. She recommended a product called Styx for reasons of X, Y, and Z. I'm not exactly sure, but she sure seemed like she knew what she was uh, talking about so I just trusted her on that and for rollers I'm using a mohair blend four and a half inch roller that she suggested at the store I'll put a link of those down below. I think I'm about I don't know $200 worth of materials right now. That's Canadian so like 160 US so let's get going. It's worth noting that these cabinets are made out of wood and inside I have this veneer running on here. I'm gonna try and take this off, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. And the one spot that I'm most concerned about of it looking cheap is gonna be where right inside this joint here. I think the paint is gonna seal part of it and then I think there'll be cracks. So I might have to silicone that or something to kind of make it, that not appear like there's a crack in there. So I'll have to figure that out. So yeah, this melamine, edging here has become a major pain. Initially I was thinking about maybe just painting that, but it seems kind of lazy. So it comes off like butter with a heat gun and then I just gotta get this new white edging and uh, iron it on with an iron and then trim the edges off. So this is kind of a quite a big speed bump. It's probably gonna set me back a good half day. Okay, so half a day was about the worst estimate possible. This probably took eight hours for me to put all this edging tape on. You can see I did a little bit of a jerry job trying to trim the sides there and took scuffs out of the inside of the cabinet. I'll have to touch that up with a paint. This all factors in, is it worth it or not to paint these cabinets? But I've taken the microwave out. Uh, that was super easy. Putting it back in is probably gonna be uh, an epic journey. But it's time to start painting. Now the lady at Benjamin Moore said, don't worry about sanding them. Get some TSP, degreaser, whatever, just wipe them down because the primer is so good that it will stick. That's what I did and no matter how many times I put TSP on and tried to degrease it, there's still grease on the cabinets. So, much to my chagrin, I had to sand all of the doors, which took about four hours. And I sanded them right down because I couldn't, I couldn't get the grease off them. And I'll even show you on these, um, on these sanding discs right now that it's, you can see the actual grease within the sanding discs, which is totally disgusting. And it was especially prevalent on the cabinets closest to the range hood. So speed bump number two, I had to sand all the cabinet doors and that probably took four hours to add onto the list. So, carrying on. The only thing I ask for you to do is just to subscribe to the channel. That's it, it doesn't cost you anything. 
I don't make a whole ton of videos, but when I do, I try and make them high quality, informative, not a fan of clickbait or anything like that. So just do me a solid and hit the subscribe button and we'll be cool. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm just taking this nifty little brush and I'm basically just ramming the paint into the cracks along here and along the top. And then I'll just come across with this roller. I'll try and go this way. I'll just come across the roller, smooth it out. At this point, I'm more skeptical than ever by seeing how the paint is going on. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be sticking very well, but uh, I guess only time will tell. And of course, this is just the primer, you guys. I'm uh, not quite ready for the paint yet, but this sticks primer is supposed to be the bee's knees according to the Benjamin Moore lady. I just wanted to zoom in here for you guys a little bit on kind of how the primer is going. I mean to me it looks like shit right now. Are you pranking me right now? I'm not pranking you right now. Okay well that didn't go exactly as planned. <laughs> I'm down in the basement here now. I'm going to prime these cupboard doors, but here's the current situation is the upstairs looks like a four year old child painted it with a bottle of liquid paper. We just found out we're going into another COVID lockdown for two weeks. So that sucks. So I put vodka in my cup for real. So I'm going to prime these doors. I'll do it real quick. You don't have to see that, but I'll show you some kind of spiffy little time lapse. And at this point in the race, you know, there's a lot of race to run yet. But I would say if I had to make a projection, I would project that this is going to end up being a DIY project that is not worth doing. But we'll see. It'll be fascinating to see the comments because I bet a lot of people will think that it looked better before than it did after. So we'll see about that. I took a whole bunch of pretty cool uh, before pictures. So I'll match them up with the after pictures and go through them and it should look pretty neat in the end. Just want to give you a quick sense on how this sticks primer looks now that it's dry on the cabinets here. You know, you can see that it doesn't cover, but it's not supposed to cover. So I think it's doing its job, just providing us a base to apply the paint on. The primer, that sticks primer has dried. And now I'm starting to put the paint on the cabinets. I'm doing a pearl finish is the finish of it. And it's probably worth noting that one gallon of this paint was $80. That's 80 Canadian dollars. And for a frugal man like myself, that's insane. This stuff should probably paint itself. But it goes on pretty nice. The one thing she said at the store when using this, she said the biggest mistake, it's a self-leveling paint. And she said the biggest mistake people make when putting this paint on is they put too much on because they see the words self-leveling and automatically assume that you can just goop on as much paint as you want and that it'll level itself out and look good. So she gave me a firm warning on putting too much paint on. I know I'm going to have to put a couple coats on for sure. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm putting it on thin and I wouldn't say I'm putting it on thick. I would say I'm putting on a, a medium coat for the first coat and we'll see how that goes. So here's a little closer look at what the paint is turning out to be like you can see spots like here it's kind of real troublesome trying to get paint to stick to the inside of this edge I think there's a lot of grease in there I cleaned it like hard um, you know and you can see lines and ridges and stuff like that it definitely looks painted right now it's not by any means does it look good I don't think but uh, maybe another coat will smarten them up a little bit. Like I say, they're looking good from a distance, but 
certainly with a closer look you can tell it just looks like a DIY paint job. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a finished door that lies before you in all of its glory. Now you're about six feet away from this door so it probably looks just fantastic. This is about four coats of paint. Now I didn't just paint coat over coat over coat over coat. What would happen is I would see some imperfections in between coats. There may be a bump, there might be a piece of hair, like always a piece of hair in the paint. I don't know where it's coming from. So I would sand down the imperfections, some of the rough spots, paint again, paint again. So you're looking at about four coats of paint. This is probably what you see on TV, on like DIY shows and stuff when you're this far away that it looks absolutely fantastic. Well, let me give you a little closer look and you can actually start to see where the real imperfections are. This is real life. Um, so in reality, yeah, you can see imperfections pretty much everywhere on the door. Um, you can see little dust spots. You can see where paint pooled, that it didn't level out. You can see brush strokes. You know, all in all, if you're six feet away, it looks fantastic. But when you're up close, it looks like kind of a DIY paint job on the door. So stand by for some before and after. I'm gonna hang these doors, put the hardwares on, and I'll be right back. Again, here is the before images. You can see they're kind of orangey. The after, before, the after. Also keep in mind, we're like not even half done because we haven't done the lowers yet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the couch just broke. <laughs> So here we are with the million dollar question. Is it worth it or not to paint your cabinets? Joey, well, what do you think? Well, it was totally worth it for me because I didn't really do any of the work. So my biggest fear was that the end result would look like cheap DIY painted cabinets. What are, like, how do you feel about that? Okay, so up close, I feel like you can still tell that they're painted cabinets. From far away, they look fantastic. And I love the look of the kitchen now. Okay, I'll say three things. Number one, that Benjamin Moore Advance paint. I, the, like the lady made it sound like it was some sort of miracle paint at the store. And like, I, like I'm not sure what I'm missing, but to me it was just kind of like normal paint. It really didn't level as much as I thought it was. It wasn't like miraculous. I thought it was some kind of magic bullet to to paint them, but they still end up That would up make it look sprayed, but it didn't look sprayed. It doesn't look sprayed. Exactly. It looks painted. Yeah. It doesn't look sprayed. The second thing is, is I hate to beg you, but like, guys, you gotta subscribe to this channel because there's a lot of work going into this video and it's an awesome video. And our next video is going to be awesome too, because it's about my stairs. The third thing I will say is, is it worth it to paint your cabinets? The answer is no. The answer is yes. The answer is no from the guy who did the work because like honestly I would never do it again. Okay, but would you pay a hundred thousand dollars for a uh, kitchen remodel? No, I wouldn't pay a hundred thousand dollars for a kitchen remodel. I would leave the cupboards as they are or and just wait until the kitchen needs to be remodeled. I wouldn't I wouldn't put the time or effort into painting them. So that's where I stand on that. I don't think it's worth it. It ended up costing probably about 250 bucks, which, you know, any more of that would, any more than that would probably not be worth it either. But that's where I stand on this one. Make sure you guys subscribe and thanks for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it.